ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect me. Pussy. Yo, welcome to Outside with Gorilla Nims, the only podcast that tours America and stops back in Brooklyn just to give y'all a fucking episode. Facts. Right? It's a cold. We in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Is this Williamsburg? Yeah. Yeah? We on Graham and Frost, Anthony and Sons Panini Shop, the best sandwiches in New York City. We at the rise of the Silverback Wall. We fucking have barbecues here in the summer. This is real Brooklyn shit. We on the benches, drinking fucking hot tea. I hate tea, but I'm on tour. I got to conserve my fucking voice. It is a blistering 34 degrees out, but it feels like 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, all of that. It's frostery out here. Like the street. As you know, my name is Gorilla Don Wilson. (laughs) To the right of me, we got fucking Boogaloo Booger Towel right here. (laughs) No, he doesn't do cocaine. I need one too. Just half of his body he doesn't feel because of the surgeries. Give it up for Paz. Give it up. Give it up. I could have got a better intro, I felt like, but it's okay. Whatever. It's right. Oh! It's the boogeyman. As soon as I say her name, she appears. Oh. Oh. To the right of him. That print. To the <laughs> hey, to the right of him. We got the oh. girl with the fucking sheepskin inside that turned into fucking carpet. This is a uh, wearing it too much. Yeah, this is like the hype beast of the group. Oh, okay. C Boykin right there. Clap it up. Clap, Clap it, it up. up. For the Boykinator. Hypebeast, the Boykinator. Give it up for the Boykinator. Give it up. And to the right of him, to her. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Mean, to the right of Shim. Transition. Shim. <laughs> is oh, the no. baby boo- blue bandit. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Not only is he the bird man, but he got flamingos on his sunglasses. None other than live action. Clap it up, my live boy. Action, live action, baby. Live action. You all ready. Yo, so we here, right? Today is the... The disrespect tour has has started. We did four shows, four days in a row. This is one day we have off. The only day we're gonna be in New York City. You can pass, guys. Yeah, brother. The only day we're gonna be in New York City until March, the middle of March. So after today, you won't see the face of New York in New York because we're taking this show on the road. You heard? You heard? So look, oh. You heard that? Lowell, Massachusetts, bodied. Warren, Vermont, bodied. That was cold. Mm. One degree when we went out there. Vermont. I was gonna Philadelphia, end. Pennsylvania, Rick. bodied. Right after that blizzard. And last night, Epic. Brooklyn. Epic. Brooklyn, stand up. Now listen. Up. So much love, the bro. The amount of people, look, look. With, these are smaller venues. I'm not gonna front like I'm fucking selling out Madison Square Garden. This is my first headlining tour. This is my first tour ever, right? So this is my, this is the first tour I've ever been on. I'm headlining it. These venues fit maybe, I'd say five to 700 people. I came into this knowing that I'm not probably gonna, Certain venues and markets are not going to be sold out, and I'm okay with that. You got to put in the legwork. I've learned through the years that everything takes time to build the proper audience and and get the word out. So right now, these first couple shows, we're documenting everything that I posted. Then people see, yo, this is a situation. So now, we're only four shows in. We got about fucking 30 more shows. We're leaving tomorrow. We go to Ohio, then Lansing, Michigan, then Chicago, then Kansas, then Iowa, then South Dakota, then fucking Washington, then Vegas, then Cali, then Texas, then Portland, everything. We all over the place. Go to nemsontour.com. Yo, listen, already four days in, we're having a fucking great time. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna keep it real. The older, I'm, I'm getting older now. I came back home yesterday. I kind of don't want to go back out on tour. <laughs> um, Yo, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go to the show yesterday. How sucks. Yo, real. I didn't want to go to the show. <laughs> Damn, that would have been worse. If so that. look. <laughs> so we did. You know, we we started in Lowell, Massachusetts. We got the booking. 
What happens when you're outside? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, we're in Coney Island over here. Yeah. I don't understand how these bikes sound like fucking lawnmowers. Yeah. <laughs> Irma, what are you doing over there? Give me a fucking hug. I'm oh. doing whatever I want. Come here, give me a fucking hug. What's wrong with you? You ain't seen this many Puerto Ricans since the June, yes. since the parade, girl. Yes. <laughs> How are you? This is the love of my life. This is Irma. Irma. <laughs> this is the love of my life. Ow. You see the cheetah Come print? On. She wanted me to spot her out. That's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was good. You got a mic for us? You young man, you young man, young man. Oh <laughs> How long you been in this neighborhood? My whole life. Your whole life? Yeah, yeah. 20 years? Yeah. I was born up the block. Where? Right, right. there? Yeah. Not even in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Just right outside. Uh, Are we allowed to curse? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. We encourage we encourage cursing. What are you smoking? All them in hundreds. Like why? a fucking dog. I ain't got no new ports. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's racist. Damn, why you say that? <laughs> take it however you want to take it. It's the truth. Damn. She right? said, huh. So, so that, absolutely. <laughs> so, what is this right here? Yeah. This is outside with Gorilla Nims. You're outside with Gorilla Nims. You oh, follow me. I, you don't fucking do. see it, girl? Of course I do. I see everything you do. Yeah. Like a fucking hole. Oh, like Damn. Um, what she about made me fucking a nice fucking knitted cap before. She made me a pillow. Oh. Still got it to this day. I cherish it. <laughs> yeah. uh, what about don't ever disrespect me? That's part of this? Nah. Uh, we just, oh, this is a podcast. Different. Oh, okay. It's a podcast. We're just fucking chilling. So you just talk you got to people? Yeah, we just, we don't even talk to people. We just fucking bullshit with each other. Oh, okay. And fucking have a good time. People enjoy the banter. Yeah. Why is not Nico over here? Nico's scared. Nico's too politically correct. The way we do in this podcast, we don't care about feelings. We don't care about political fuck your connections. <laughs> yeah, fuck your yeah. life. Yep, no so feelings. Nico, he's scared. You know, when you talk to Nico on camera, you gotta, you can't say certain things. He's too invested with other brands, and you might yeah, fuck yeah. up his uh yeah. his his crystal clean image. You know what I'm saying? We're a liability. We're losing New hey. York, Nico guys. We're losing. Yeah. We're New York Nico was the heart of this fucking city. And now five years ago, now he's corporate Nico. He's sold out. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Sold you don't out. know that's out. Sold the out. Next I can't. I, 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 Absolutely. Right there. Yeah. That's right. I was in. Was was that your first movie? <laughs> I could. We could say we were in this first movie. How was this neighborhood before gentrification? It was all Italians and Puerto Ricans. Really? Yeah. Why? I just want to know about the history of the neighborhood. Oh. Why are you so fucking <coughs> Why? Because I don't we know. Don't, You're like, really? What do you think? Know. This we ain't the ghetto. Oh, I my think, God. I oh, my God. Wow, the fucking <laughs> stereotype. Like, get out of here. Out of You're from Coney Island. Island. Whoa. Hey. Listen. Whoa. Hey, Easy. Yo. Easy. Listen. This is the best neighborhood. I know you are from Coney Island, whatever. Oh, you better. Yeah. Handle your business. But we're the other end of Brooklyn. Absolutely. No, this is the north side. We're on the south side of Brooklyn. But, uh... So Same people, different names. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah. So it's still Brooklyn. Brooklyn is Brooklyn, right? Absolutely. That's Let's right. toast to that. Salud. What are you drinking? Coffee? Salud. Always. Always co co Always coffee, coffee and cigarettes. That's real Italian. Real Italian right yeah, there. Yeah. Give me a kiss. <laughs> 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 yeah, tell them to find you and then fucking... Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh you goodness. think you fucking sitting here all day with us? <laughs> um, so yes, I'm on Instagram. Irma Camparisi is my name. Um, right? There I you go, look at me. Jewelry. <laughs> Irma. Um, I love NEMS. I do. I do. And uh, that's it, because that you got me embarrassed. Aww. Let me get out of here with my... Give me the fucking mic. Yo, whoa. Get a fucking cute. Oh, what are you doing over there? Oh, wait. Hey, it, it was a, it was you, a pleasure. Good Thank you. Irma. Thank you, Irma. Yo, so far, so so with the tour, back to the tour. Yo, Vermont, one degree. Back. That, that. So so besides, look, you I got a video of Ian Solomon talking to me after the Philly show, and he he gave me like a a great talk. He's like, yo, bro. You fought your way from the bottom about 12 different times. He says, you got to understand, every show might not be packed, but you got to appreciate it. Look, from the bottom, you took the merchandise. From the vi You went viral about 10 times already. 
You know what I'm saying? And now you get a chance to do smaller venues and impact and grab new fans' attentions one by one at these smaller venues. So, listen, the first three dates, I was like, eh, this might not be, uh, you know, every show is not packed. I was getting a little discouraged. Yeah. But the love that I seen last night, so we got home. So why I said the Solomon shit is because most rappers do a show, they go back to the hotel or go to the next city. Me, I'm also bing bong to the strippers and all of that shit. Look, look perfect timing, right on cue. That was Somebody just drove by and said bing bong. Right. So. Can I say something real quick? I just want to give a shout out to Solomon. That's like a cool weird. All right, bro. I fuck with him. He's, a, right, good, good. Weird, he's a good weird dude. So. Good weird dude. You're on that one, bro. Stop using my camera. No, no, over there. Over here? Over there, bro. Look that way. <laughs> so you gotta understand, after the show, we're getting bookings for club hostings, strip club hostings. So the first night, Massachusetts, we do the show, we get booked in a spot called Squires. It was lit in there. Lit. We had mad fun. Just la Yo, naked women, you bug out, laugh with them. They, yo, this shit is just hilarious and we have a fucking great time. I mean. He's Good scared boy. his wife barked on him for being in the strip club. Nah, no, this, is, this is our job. Yeah, I, I didn't do that. And I did like this. When you put the camera on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the truth is, I ain't seen nothing. Yo, we don't even, we, we're not, we're adults, bro. We, we go in there to, one, to get a bag. And bro, we're not trying to fuck, no. We have a good time. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yo, strippers are some of the fucking funniest, fucking, we just bug out with new people, make new life experiences, meet. I, one of the main things why I wanted to take this tour is like, bro, what other chance am I gonna, I'm gonna have to drive around the whole country? Facts. Fucking leave these fucking dope ass tops cards in different places around the country and shoot the podcast. Cause see, people from Chicago hit us in Humboldt Park, which is the, the biggest Puerto Rican community in the Midwest. And they was right. like, yo, come shoot the pod over there. I'm looking you know for, I'm really looking forward to that. My camera's, I'm looking forward to <laughs> The that. tour stops for four days in Vegas. So we're gonna be for four days, we might do a part out there. Right. We might do one in Cali, we might do one in Texas. The possibilities are endless. So what other chance am I gonna have to drive around the country, see different shit? That's what life's about, man. Right. Life ain't about being fucking stuck on the couch or stuck at a job or, nah. And I wanna thank you, bro, for, for putting me in this tour with you and uh. You're doing your thing, man. Paz is handling the merch. I'm right. not just merch, like whatever needs to be doing, whatever needs to be done, and we spreading love, bro. It's, it's and it's fire. dope to be able He's to. He's not security yet, though. He ain't nah, nah, I'm, yeah, a, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. a liability. He's still in group C. <laughs> I'm a liability and shit. three groups, A, B, and what? C. He's still in C. Damn. We yeah. trying to get live action to come on the road, too, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try. Yo, we got the most bullshit Sprinter van in the history of Sprinter van. Word. So look, the people hold on to their Sprinter vans like crazy, you know, because Bro, they getting a thousand a night for a Sprinter van. So when somebody comes and say, yo, we need a Sprinter van for fucking two months for not 2,000 a night or a thousand a night, they're like, nobody wants to give it up. So shouts to Mex, he held it down, he found one. It's not even black, it's gray. They got old school seats. They got fucking a, a Jensen TV. I never even heard of I, Jensen. I never heard, I never heard of that. Yo, this, Jensen. Yo, the heard Bluetooth Jensen? don't even work in it, so we can't even hear music. Pause tomorrow when we go back on the road. It's bringing his Bluetooth so we can have music in there. Facts. The heat, Mex is mad fat driving the whole time. The heat, he, he gets hot. He gets hot in the back. There's nothing. Don't feel no fucking heat. We're freezing back there. I'm about to bring a blanket when we leave. I'm about to bring a blanket. Cause you're That's a yeah. fucked up situation. And I, I cooked two pillows from um Holiday Inn. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going to ask you that. <laughs> I was like, yo, you took them pillows? Nah, he was yeah, look pregnant. Like that. Yo, so, you, so we got four pages, right? I got the NIMS underscore FYL. That's my main page. You know what I'm saying? Then I got the FYL brand page, that's for the merch. So I'm posting mad tour funny shit on there, like tour merch shit, new drops. Then we got the outside page, outside with Gorilla Nems. That's the clips we post on here. And then I got the Don't Ever Disrespect Me Vids page. I just made that because I didn't want my page getting fucking uh, 
deleted because I'm posting crazy content. So if you follow those, you'll see all funny shit throughout the tour. Like I'm a, I might post pie stealing pillows on the don't ever disrespect me page. <laughs> I might put fucking me shooting spitballs at Vegas on the outside page. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all follow all of these pages because we just doing dope shit on every single one I'm, of them. And we're not doing, we do craziest shit that we don't even, you won't even know about because we just, the cool content guys, is like crazy. Cool no, it's also no cool just creating opportunities for all my peoples. Look at that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap yeah. it up. Fast. It up. Real shit. I know we cold, but that was real. Yeah, yeah it's cold. Now, look. Gems, how, you, how are you doing with your uh, resolution eating on tour? Isn't it hard for you to get good it's, food yo, on the road? Yeah. It, it, that, uh, since we, the new year started, I've just been drinking water. I'm still on that. I haven't drank no soda yet. Nice. I'm not Back even up. saying yet. I just haven't drank soda. Yeah. I'm, try, I'm trying to keep it where I don't eat after 6 or 7 p.m. But on the road, I'm not going to front. There's limited options, and it's getting harder and harder. Like Philly, I just was like, man, fuck that. The spot that we had, it was like, hey, so make take from the menu. I got a big Bavarian pretzel, tater tots. They had this fucking big Damn, ass you milkshake. Broke it fast, homie. Yeah. Yeah. Fast. Yo, they had this big ass I rainbow milkshake, bro. This shit was delicious. You broke Yo, fast, homie. You broke I know it was good. Ass, homie. Yeah, you know why I know it was good? He top. called me from the merch outside to come in and see him with it. I'm like, damn. <laughs> nah, they put two straws in it. He got the so king I said, Yo, Yo, head drink from the outside. other side. I'm like, get the fuck out of the room. is packed. OT, all these people. I'm like, bro, this guy's yeah. fucking crazy, bro. He only got the King Kong menu. Oh, yeah, shout <laughs> out. <laughs> shout out OT, the real, and my man, J Mac. That's my peoples, man. They Yo, so every city, you got to show, like, I'm not. When you come to an M show, it's not to see a million other artists. I'm gonna bring out maybe one or two artists from that city if I fuck with them. So, uh, Philly, I brought out OT The Real, that's family. Fact. Yesterday in Brooklyn, my man Flea Lord came out, you know what I'm saying? He bodied um, it too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he bodied it. Fact. Shouts to um, Five Mics, man, because he hit me. But he hit me last minute, like, he was like, yo, let me let me open up. I said, yo, bro, it's the, it's like a couple hours before the show, bro. You should have did this months ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even handling it. My management handles it, bro. I got so much on my plate right now. Yeah. I'm not calling. I said, yo, look, I'll see how long our set is, and I'll see if maybe I could bring you out. But by that time, my set was already over an hour. And that's I don't even drink tea, man. I'm drinking tea because I, I got to conserve my voice. Cause we on fucking tour. You still got 30 cities. You really gotta just like- Yo, usually fuck. after one show, bro, my voice is done because how I rap is I fucking yell into the fucking mic. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I, I have to, I'm learning a lot on this tour, even about how performing. I've been performing for fucking 20 years and I'm still learning brand but new shit. But this is different cause it's like boom, 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 boom. Facts. Yeah. So it's like you gotta That's really good. drink tea. tea and shit like that to yeah, clear your absolutely. Shit. And what you said is very like important. Horse, bro, Nobody can you're smoke about around to get on the mic. that shit over Yo, there. No, that's that's another thing where, bro, I I'm not a party pooper. I don't mind people smoking around me, smoking weed, like drinking. I don't care about none of that. I'm clean, but everybody around me don't have to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But when weed is being smoked in the venue or in my backstage area or even in the sprinter van, that shit kills pause my throat bro like it goes pause it goes right down my throat hey. <laughs> hey, and it goes right hey. to the vocal cords look yesterday I, I'm, I'm performing i'm already losing my voice and flea lord after he performs on the side of the stage smoking i bro i was getting i was like bro and because he was my guest i'm not gonna stop the show and be like yo don't smoke but that's why I have a rule right now on the tour. There's no smoking in the Sprinter van. There's no smoking in my backstage, bro. I need to conserve my voice, bro. Mm -hmm. Fuck being nice for the sake of myself. I'm shitting on myself and my needs no. to accommodate other people. Nah, this ain't happening right now. Right. You, know yeah, you can't sacrifice yourself for... So what's uh, up with y'all, man? What the fuck is going on with y'all fucking delinquents? What's up, what's up? So I, w I went to um, a monster truck rally three days ago. Yeah, how was it? That shit was lit. I'd never done anything like that. Yeah, I seen the video. I was like... Yeah. They was like crushing the cars? Crushing the cars. Yeah, Prudential Center? 
Uh, no, it was in Nassau, Nassau Coliseum, Long Island. That's for, they still have yeah. Nassau Coliseum? Yeah, it's yeah. like Nassau Veterans something. Oh, Memorial. Memorial. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And they had the uh, the dirt bike, they had the, the like motocross, they were doing flips and shit. That was surprising and that was exciting. Was it sick too. in the dick? Sick in the dick. You wanted Yo, to try man. it? Yeah, I was like, I was actually Crazy. thinking about it. I'm like, they, they're on a tour. Everybody they do that like does different that cities. Thinks they could do it. Yeah, no, no, well, I mean, I wouldn't do that. But then there was a girl, there was a host, right? And I was just like, she really is grasping the attention of the whole Nassau Coliseum. I'm like, this is a lit job, like going from city to city and just getting, you know, it's like a lot of little kids there too. So it's like getting the whole audience hype. I'm like, how do you get that job? Like, that's just so random and just so dope. No, that's like the WWE announcer girl. Yeah, yeah. 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 How the fuck you get these jobs? Those that's are what I'm saying. You just got to go around with the WWE. They tour like... 350 days out yeah. there. Nah, they gotta go to college. It's nuts. Why? <laughs> what, what, what's the, what's the, what are you majoring to do that? To be a fucking. Major fucking sucking cock. Sucking. <laughs> Holding a fucking cock to your that's, fucking face. That's how they get it. Like, I get yeah, it. good job, honey. You know, yes, Vince McMahon, right? Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> I feel like they come from like some type of like circus backgrounds and shit, too. Why? I don't know. I felt like she was in a circus the way she was in the middle, like getting that's everyone hyped. That's what it hyped. reminded you of? Imagine Children yeah. all in. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was given circus. It was given. Imagine she would have got hit by one of the monster trucks. <laughs> Why? She would have been fired. Yo, I was like low key wanting something to, like, I, without anyone getting yeah, hurt, but I wanted that. something to, like, I wanted something to, like, burst oh, into flames. But no, but no one get injured. I just want <laughs> more excitement. Like, flip yeah. the truck over, like, the guy fall yeah, off. Yeah, instead and, of just the crushing shit. Like, his whole dirt bike fly away. He's like, ah. Yeah, but then he lands. Running. Safely. Everybody running down our safe. They, they do backflips on the dirt bike. Yeah, that's what I mean. I know, in a row, right? Yeah, the I was one, like, Yo, two, these three. motherfuckers is crazy. Yo, what percentage of those monster truck drivers do you think are drunk while they're doing that? <laughs> they're probably wasted. I feel like, yeah, the, drunk, the way they be. They gotta be high, though, 100%. You ever, um, drove, you ever drove drunk? Us? Hell yeah. Oh, tell that story. What happened? Which one? The one where the guy had your ID. Oh, I was in the Bronx. <laughs> I left Yo, Paz don't drink no more. Yeah, facts, but when I did, You need it right now. But, uh... Clap it yeah. up for Christy not drinking. Yes, yeah, 22 fact. days sober, baby. Uh, yes. But she, she was a lush. Was the yeah, yeah, I was right. getting lit. I, listen, I bartended. I was, I, I'm whatever age now, you can do the math, but for 18 years, since I was 18, I was bartending. And every time I bartended, I was drinking with customers, you know, because that's how you make yeah, your money. Yeah, Shots, shit, shot o'clock. Ah, so I'm doing that four nights a week. Somebody then, was just speaking highly of your bartender skills. Yeah, yeah I, I can was. still make a nice cocktail. Max. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo. yo. Max. Hey. Max. Yeah. Uh, hey. Max. Uh, Max said at Brooklyn Chop House when you bartended there, you were l super lit. That oh, you wait. were cater. You was. You was a great caterer to, if a guy came in with a guy, you nah, was she, making them feel comfortable, she, she, a guy with yeah. a spice. She got a good presentation. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, her energy is yeah, for fact. sure. No, right. people love me. Time positive. Love me, yeah, I was, I was definitely. So go ahead, what happened? Oh, so uh, I was drinking my, with my mans after work. And the sanitation? I, Damn, yeah. Pop. I was going to another job. I always, I always got two jobs. <laughs> and uh. I fell asleep drunk. I had in a caddy Bronx? in the Bronx. What bro. you was drinking? I don't even remember, bro. <laughs> Whatever was in front of him. Facts, and I, I deadheaded. I went the wrong way, fell asleep, and hit a guy's bumper with my bumper head like this. I had the music on, windows open, knocked out. <laughs> he got me on tape, though. He showed me. And when I went back the next day, but check it. How did you go back the next How did you know? Bro, he put a note, took my, put a note in my pocket and said, you hit my car yesterday. I hope you. I get. I hope you're alive to see this note. <laughs> That's a really nice. Yeah, he said guy. I got your license, and I got you on tape. I don't want to go to the cops. I just want That's my sweet. bumper fixed. So I called him. That's a gangster right there. That's real New York City. Yeah, yeah fact. And, and, and he was a. What was he? He was Italian, of course. Mm. Paisan. Oh, scumbag. Mamma mia. Nah, he nah, wasn't. Nah, he wasn't. Nah, nah, yeah, what you said, Paz? Mamma mia. Nah, I went there. He showed me the video. Bro, I'm knocked out. Music blast like this. <laughs> knocked out on his bumper, though, front to front, like that. <laughs> and I go like that. He goes, yo, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, oh, shit. Yo, my bad, bro. I'm trying to get to work. His wife's <laughs> you go the video. You're on the way. His wife is next to him saying, look at him. Call the cops. He's like, shut the fuck up. Go over there. Real Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn That's shit hilarious. in the Bronx, bro, dead ass. About to slap and, his um, wife and shit. He's like, listen, bro, I took your license. I don't want. I was gonna put you in the hotel, but I don't want you to think I was a half a fag or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say the F word. I, it's not my. I didn't say it. I, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> facts, I had to get that nigga two racks. I didn't even care. I gave it to him, gave me the license back. Two thousand? Two thousand. He jerked me. I, I didn't nah, even yo, care. it's a it's a bargain. It Who was an accurate it was an accurate TL from back then. I don't even know. And uh he what? said, uh, I could have called the cops, I still could, but uh you gotta pay it forward. Promise me. I was like, I got you, bro. And I <laughs> never, I never did. What was his name? Right there. Damn. I don't even remember. What was hey. the accurate TL? Or the, oh, it was the car. The car that I hit. All right. Yeah, facts. And it had a little fucking Freddy like from the Bronx. Shit, I had a bro. little fucking bro. scumbag from the Bronx. Hit and run. Get my fucking money back. You fucking overcharged me, scumbag. Nah, he saved you, bro. Yeah, facts, facts. So that was Clap only, it up. Clap, clap it up. Clap, clap it up. Clap it up. Yo, he saved you and he jerked you. Hey. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Facts. He was a nice scumbag. What about your uncle that fucking crashed? <laughs> he took us to see, um, Vito. I don't know if I should say this though. Say it. He um he took us to see. Oh, you um, told about your mom's pants. Yeah, facts. Leroy, he took us to see that. What was that last oh, draft? Oh, last draft. Damn, this must have been. I was young. This is the late '80s. Yeah, me and my cousin. So we driving home and under um McDonald Avenue, they got the train. So got the beams, the pillars. Yeah. So he's driving like this, like swerving a little. He stuff. was drunk. I don't think he might have been though. He took fucking five of us to the movies. He had to be. <laughs> <laughs> he was swerving the shit. And he was singing. One. I could drive my family safely, dead ass. <laughs> I could what? drive my family safely. safely. And then he said I it could again. Drive my family. I could drive my family safely. Boom! Nigga, <laughs> right? You know, we in the back, no seatbelt. <laughs> like Anchorman, everyone's like, Fine. You're like, yo, everybody all right? Yeah, facts. That was funny. <laughs> you drove away or the car was total? No, we got up out of there. <laughs> we out. Don't open the door, huh? That shit no airbags the back there. Airbags? <laughs> I don't even think we had seatbelts in the back back then. Damn. Like a Chevy Nova or something. Yeah, it was definitely so one So you never world. got to see the movie? No, we, that was after the movie. Oh, it was after. Oh, yeah, Facts. he was sauce. He was sauce. Facts. Catches beams with his teeth. Huh? <laughs> Yo, you ever drove drunk? Me? I can't even see. Yeah, you. Glasses. Yeah, I have before. Yeah, of course. Crashed? No, no, thank God. And, and that's how you know that we need to stop right there. Because I got, I got away with a bunch of times. Like, I got driving another late. story. I remind me. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I was with my man Dino coming home from Bay Ridge. We were slapped, bro. <laughs> and there was a checkpoint right over. You, I couldn't see. It was mad. I'm like, what's going on by Pathmark? And a car made a U turn. And then the cops came. Woo, 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 woo. I said, oh, shit, this is a checkpoint, bro. This dude is like, bro, don't say nothing. Let me talk. I'm like, yo, my. <laughs> yo, just act sleep, bro. Shut up. I had a cup of Henny, dead ass, right in the middle, right here. So they, they had cars on the side already. You know how they make you pull over? <laughs> it's a young, a young white cop. Every time they look out for me, the cops, there's always a white cop. Shout out to white cops. <laughs> and um, I put the window down. I didn't even say nothing, bro. I put the window down. <laughs> I can imagine. I put the window down. And oh, shit. <laughs> God, man, go, go. I was like, <laughs> so my man lived on 2-3rd. I had to go to 32nd. He like, yo, you passed my crib, bro. I'm like, yeah, you walking, homie. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Facts. That's true. Yo, you ever drove drunk? I don't know about, like, drunk, tipsy. I don't get like that. I Like, I, I drink my max. Like, I already know. I'll be like, oh. This shit got me boozing. <laughs> water. Nice. And straighten the fuck out. But I never, and I never got a DUI, none of that shit. Really? Yeah. I, I got a DUI never. before. That shit sucks. You got a DUI? What? I got a DUI. <laughs> this is the first time I ever even told anybody about it. Nobody knows. You, got hit, you had to br you know, breathalyze into the door? Uh, no, so. No, what? Everybody, now is everybody sorry, guys. No. <laughs> they, they're not gonna know. You're telling. I was driving. Yeah. I was. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. fold yeah. under questioning. <laughs> I was in Staten Island, and I was actually. So everybody was lit, but I was like, I'll drive, right? Because I'm like a good, you know, I was, whatever. I'm a good friend. No, I'm a no, good I'm a friend. Good I was like, driver. I'm a good drunk driver, right? That's what everyone Everybody thinks. says that. Yeah. Uh, I drive better drunk is the So I was shit. fine, but I was flying. I was doing like 85 on the Staten Island Expressway. I used to live like, whatever, by Clove Road on, in Staten Island. So I'm getting off the Clove Road exit. I'm a block away. I get pulled over. A block away, <sighs> literally. And I'm like, all right, whatever, like, cause I'm I'm lit, but I feel like I'm good, so yeah, I'm just like talking. Fucking on by the ice. You got dri dripped on. Yeah, drip check. So what drip check. <laughs> About to get Basically, it. pull me over. My dad is a retired cop, so I have a badge. So I'm just like flexing the badge and shit. He wasn't having it. He's like, step out. I guess he smelled it on me, 
I had to do a breathalyzer and it was it was it was over. I had my friends in the car. <laughs> it took, then, and my friends were lit. She's like, Yo. My friends were lit, more lit than me, and he let her drive her car to my house. He's like, all right, she lives right there, just take the car to the house. Uh, and I'm scumbag. like, well, you think I'm they scumbag. was profiling? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Staten Island, of course. Oh, no, you were drinking. You was doing something wrong. It was other it was other like um uh, people in there besides you, like yeah, the, oh, they was all my boy be the Yeah, they were like uh, blan blanquitas. Uh -huh. the drunk, hit the other yeah. Yeah. They didn't Cops take they didn't they they No, they yeah. let her drive off. Yeah. Yo, they railroaded us, son. Nah. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> drinking and driving. <laughs> no, I know, true, but, but still they supposed to they supposed to have everybody do the same thing or walk a line. Not the it's, passengers. Shit, why not? Why? They was asking a passenger, let me get your ID. When it's two men, they be teeing the passenger, they be like, let me get your ID. Give me that. And you be like, yo, I ain't driving. <sighs> Brought yeah. to you from Monster. Right here, you can see it? Yeah, on the right. What do you got to fucking walk, but walk up the block to see your fucking camera? <laughs> well, you got one on the roof. Yo, how do you got that camera on? It got the fucking thing on it. No, that one's not road. So what's it? Obvious. That was supposed to be the... <laughs> the angle, but busy's not here. Then fuck busy. Cause busy wears shorts. Yo, busy, oh, 20 man. degrees. Yo, busy, he's he's going like two weeks in a row for some bag of the week, Trash. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my boy be the Don't drink and drive. No, definitely don't. Don't drink and drive. Yeah, yo, yo. That was ten not years. Drink and drive. Right. That was don't ten years drink. on my, yo, yo, on I my record. Say the story. I we do a lot of um we do a lot of joking. Yeah, yeah right. fuck please. But one thing I'm not joking about, yo, don't drink and drive. Like, we, I don't know. we right. have, this is from when we're younger, bro. We do stupid yeah. shit. I don't do that but, shit. But, yo, that shit kills people, bro. Yeah, fact. Yeah. Like, for your stupid decisions. You literally have a weapon, bro. That's a weapon you're driving. Don't even play with that shit. I'm, I'm adamant on that. Yeah. If a cop locks somebody up for DUI, I don't feel bad for them. I don't care who it is. Good for you. Yo, and when we go to the Especially to now, the they got rides at the tip of your fingertips. Yeah, you could yeah. pick you up anywhere. Uber. There should be no reason. Facts. Nah, when we go, they be like, yo, you you driving? I'll be like, yeah, I ain't letting none of y'all drunk motherfuckers drive me nowhere. Facts. I'm sober, hell no, I'm driving. And it's also, facts. an Uber is way more cheaper than a $10,000 fine and your license suspended. And, yeah. and you know, you, you may be even almost killing someone. Insurance. You got to pay surgery. Insurance, what, what, what everything. If, what if you hurt somebody? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's the number one thing. I used to wake up thing. and buy the newspaper no, it's a multi -million and check the blog, bro. Like, damn, I hope I ain't kill nobody yesterday. <laughs> Yo. That's how twisted. Take an <laughs> Uber. <laughs> Uber everywhere. Absolutely. What are you, fucking G-Dep? Huh? You woke up in jail? Damn. You got the fucking uh, mic on, Norpian? You got a Nor mic. Nor Bane. So Bane. You Bane. can't hear him. How the fuck Bane. you Bane. Know? Oh, oh, my he dressed, God. Oh, Hold what's on, up yeah. with this guy? This guy oh, he dressed up like that. What's that shit from Disney? He's walking the, around um, the car, oh. bro. The Android yeah, shit. Right oh. Yeah. yeah. No, but I fucking woke up in jail. I woke up in jail. Didn't know how you got there? Didn't know. I had no idea. It's like wow. my worst nightmare. <laughs> Yo, your clothes was on, though, right? Yeah. Oh. Did someone spit in your ass? <laughs> That happened to me. That happened. That was to me. recent. Yeah, no, I said that happened. It's been. That happened. <laughs> that happened. No, no, not that. that. Not that. No, you, you heard that, right? You heard that. I woke up in jail. Yeah, I heard that. You heard that. Now nah, oh, everybody. Yeah, you at killed it. yourself. <laughs> you killed. It. Damn. Finish it. That was fucking like last year. Yeah. Nobody knew that. <laughs> I had an ankle bracelet because of Dewey. And yeah. now you pounding beers and shit. Come on, bro. And down who? Now he's wasted right now. Nah, he don't drink beers. He just uh, what's the what's the I'm anal driving, shit? Though. Oh, all right, all right. You put it up the the <laughs> ass. You keister your beers now. He does a keg stand from his keister. Oh, he does shit. a keister <laughs> keg stand. Now nah, I woke up in jail. Everybody, my boys and my brother was looking at me like this. Huh? I woke up in the bookings like, and we was all locked up, and my boys was, and my brother was like, because I got us all locked up. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> No. That, that shit cost me 40 grand. 40? Yeah. It went up. Wow, that must have been What did you do? <laughs> no, yeah. First one. They made an First, example you, out of your you, ass. Were you murdered? You hit somebody? Word. Word. Oh, you, you hit a person? Somebody. He got a vehicle <laughs> man. He got a DUI vehicle man slaughter. That's different. hit a light pole. And the light pole is like 14,000. Oh, you trash oh, they, like the so property. You own, you own a light pole. <laughs> yeah, and they play it so hot. Yeah. Why are you always worried about us getting dark? Bring the fucking light pole. Yo, they take <laughs> you made 14 grand. Word, word. They was like, yo, uh, they was like, yo, you, you ready to go to court? I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to go to court. 
like, yeah, I just need some water. <laughs> <laughs> Get him some water. Yeah, he was like the Mexican dude. He said, yes. Get him some water. Let me tell you something. They probably maybe point, I'm being with you. They probably pointed to the dirty sink. It's right there. You know the one that's connected to the toilet and everything. Yo, yo, right from yo, the yo he had a car that had the pole. That's that, yo, bro. Come on. That shit was out of control. Yeah. The car was like, I think like 80, 82 grand. Damn. Damn. Yeah, but they got insurance for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, enough of the drunk talk. All right. Let's get into the motherfucking <laughs> Monster <laughs> Energy Drip Check. <laughs> shout out to Monster Energy. They also sponsoring the Disrespect Talk. Yeah, shout out Monster. So today, I kept it light. I kept it fucking, I kept it uh, light. I'm, I, but I wanted to just stay home, bro. This is my one day, and, and I'm going to be gone on the road for the next fucking month and a half. So I wanted to keep it light. But I also want to say brand new what we're doing here at the Outside with Gorilla Nims podcast is we're innovating. Shouts to Six the Dawn behind the scenes. He's already in innovating. Love we're going to have a QR code right in the corner of the screen. Boop. Whatever you see us wearing, you put your phone to that QR code on the screen and it'll take you to the FYL website, FYL.NYC, and you can get these, this drip that we're wearing right here if it's FYL. So we starting there with the, the zip up 700 hoodie and the 700 snapback. Boom. I got the Versace shades. I got the Carhartt whip sweatpants. And I got the Jordan Thunder Fours. There you go. What you rocking with, Paz? I got the Don't Ever Disrespect Tour merch. Woo! Hat, shit, gas and the hoodie. That's puff print? Puff print, homie. Facts. Yeah. And on the back, it got all the tour dates. You gonna see it when it Yo, comes. Yo, as an artist, I always wanted to make a hoodie that has all my tour dates on the back. And that, you know, that's a dream Now you're doing true. it. Yeah, yeah. that's yep. so fire. And it's, and it's actually fire. Every yeah. piece of merch, the t-shirts and the hoodies have the tour dates on the back, which is uh, genius. Yup, so and that. I got the uh, Black Boss jeans, Hugo Boss. <laughs> and uh, Uptowns, Ron Burgundy Uptowns. There you go, in the Mermont. And the Mermaid, yeah. That's, that's the right. new Supreme. You know how I had the Supreme joint from last year? Yeah, this is my new Supreme because I don't got sponsors and, and coats like that. That's season three. Season yeah, three. Season yeah. three. Yeah. Coming, coming, soon. coming soon. But on tour, that Supreme coat, that's going with me all tour. Facts. Facts. Go ahead. I'm twinning over here with Paz with the FYL merch right here. Tour merch, facts. Tour merch, you know, disrespect tour day. I got some Y2K snow pants. We got the Travis Scott Lowe's all black. I got a old Kanye West jean jacket, Pablo. Fire. I got a little, you know, red Scully to keep myself little warm. Little Where's Waldo Scully? Yeah, Where's Waldo Scully? Oh, and Thank I you. got the Carhartt jacket. You can never go wrong with Carhartt. Like all seasons, you know what I'm saying? For me, Carhartt is like, it's like Louis to me, you know what I'm saying? Cause we, I ain't with that pretty shit. We from the bottom, we outside. You ain't gonna be warm in no and fucking make, designer and shit. And they gordito sizes. Facts. The fat boy size is like true. 2X. They the true. You know what I'm saying? But nah, even if I was skinny, I'd still be on my car hard. You know what I'm saying? Say I fuck with car hard heavy. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, yo. We got. <clears throat> I gotta say it and shit like that, man, because I'm tired of promoting these motherfuckers for. Yeah, just say <laughs> where you got it. You know what I mean? We're gonna I'll tell promote, the story. I'll put them up the top because that was VIP shit. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna tell the story after. You know what I mean? I just got the North Carolina sky blue on straight up and down, man. Nike, I always be having. I ain't gonna be shouting them out all the time. Cause when I go to their store, they don't say here is free. They be like, here, 180, one this is <laughs> Yo, matter of fact, speaking of that, hold up. We well, you got that that outfit, cause one day just me and him, we went to Philly just to chill. We recorded, I recorded, and then uh we stayed overnight because the next day. I had, you know, I met some people from, uh, when I was doing the crew league, I met the people from Mitchell and Ness. And they was like, yo, if you're ever in Philly, hit us up. So I hit them up. They said, yo, come to this address. We ended up being an old school, like 1700s mansion, but like in the city, like say, like. Like the Polo Mansion? It was like, nah, nah, it was like it was a building, but it was like a mansion on, the whole building was theirs. It was the Mitchell and Ness mansion. So we go inside. Fire. It's fire. We meet with all the reps. Bro, on the mantle, they got a picture of the owner and Fabulous. 
And they was like, yo, Fab is really the one who started all this shit, getting it popping with the throwback jerseys and all of that. So then Why? they bring us in, they're showing us around, and they go, yo, a lot of teams, we send them prototypes, like, yo, this is what, you know, we think in designs, and sometimes the teams shut them down, but they still have a lot of that merch. Wow. So only there, can you can't get in there, they don't give tours, it's only VIP people. You get to go and pick out whatever you want from there, and everything is 50% off. What? So boom, so we yeah. picked out, so that shit was like, that might have not even came out. It might have came out. We got these out the boxes. Yeah. Remember when we went Facts. into the back room, they had boxes. So since they said we could look, we just started opening boxes. Yeah, we started opening boxes, pulling out shit that like were probably never coming out. So that fit right there is some exclusive shit. And they was like, yo, go to the store. The store was like a couple blocks away, the Mitchell and that store in Philly. And they was like, you everything 50% off, off too. Yeah. So I took all they just dawn shits that be like 400. Yeah. Everything was half price, bro. I, we bought masks. We started calling Aggie, his brother, yeah, uh, man, people, brother. yo, we here, yo, we here. Give me the reversible Allen Osman or uh, Georgetown. I was like, son, this shit is like 800 with the bucket hat. I was like, yo, but we, I got it and shit. Yeah, right. Yo, it's yeah. so much that, that Uber was like, man, I'm going to come back. We can buy all this shit and flip it. Word. <laughs> yo, they right. had hat. Yo, they had. It's called. Yo, <laughs> yo right. Our wholesale price. Yo, shout boxes. out Mitchell and Ness, bro. Nah, What's Mitchell up? and Ness. Shout them out, you big shout. Time. Facts. So when we was just in Boston, the first stop we 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 go, and uh, we hit uh, New Balance. <laughs> <laughs> Now I fuck with New Balance. You see, we had they shit on the on the thing, and this is no reflection on New Balance as a company. This is a reflection of just not stating, you know, speaking. So I hit a couple people I fuck with at New Balance, like, yo, we over here. Where's the flagship store? Like, they was like, yo, it's over here on Newberry. So we went Vegas, New Vegas Films. He's like, yo, my man is the manager there. He gonna hook everybody up. Uh -uh. But I called like people I know that's like marketing people there and they hold weight there. And they was like, yeah, come over there. Da da da. We go there. So all of us is going ham bony in there. Yo, give me this, because we thinking we getting the ill discount. Fact. Yo, give me this. Yo, give I'm, me this. I fucked I'm, it. I'm like. I'm calling people. <laughs> yo, and all the workers there was like, Nams, let me take pictures. They all knew who I was. The manager at Vegas knew, knew who I was. They called him, told him I was coming. Mello. <laughs> oh, Mello picks all sweatsuits, five pairs of sneakers. They bring it up. It started with him. They ring him up. His shit came out to like 1200 he was like, oh, no, 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 he put mad shit back. He wound up buying like one pair of sneakers. Everything, <laughs> he put everything back and kept the one pair of sneakers. He I like, <laughs> had two pairs of sneakers. So I'm thinking like, I don't, I don't know, but I'm assuming a discount is coming. They ring it up, it's like almost 300. And I'm thinking when I'm looking at the price, I, you know how they just put a code and then it goes down? Yeah, yeah, it just kept going up. It was like, nah, 277, da, da, da. I said, Whatever, I'm not gonna bitch for it, you know, I'm, yeah, I paid for it. Max is hilarious, he looked at me and went. <laughs> <laughs> so I already knew, I just went outside, like, I ain't fucking with y'all. Max said. Not one motherfucking discount was had in that New Balance store. And they That's ended it. up spending like the original, they, the 1200 collectively, they spent more I than was that. doing videos for the motherfuckers in there, yeah. the workers, yeah. bing bong, yo, fuck your life, yo, yo, taking pictures. <laughs> yo, they jerk, uh, jerk me. Yo, we'll be jerking fuck you. Fucking boy, Scum hey, Boston. Man. Hey, Boston. Yo, um, but I still, with all of that said, I still fuck with New Balance heavy. Yeah, facts. New Balance kind of got the streets right now when yeah. it comes to the yeah, sneakers, word. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. Jordan's, yeah. you know, Jordan's is... There's no new Jordan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's only old Jordan's and new colorways. And, my, and bro, they, re, they basically and re get every fucking colorway. That's all yeah, my, I got the That's how they catch everybody. They be and like, oh, we bringing out the 98s. Yeah, yeah, all right, but why they so much? Yeah. yeah, and these kids now, nah, they don't know about the 98. They Yo, we're making the bread that. fours, but we're making them all leather. All right. Yeah. But I was just like, 600. Yeah. My, kid, my kids go straight to New Balance, 22 and twins 15. So that's the, they ain't even look, bro. Yo. Straight to New Balance. New Balance. Yeah. Yo, and I'm an avid sneaker collector. I have one pair of Reeboks, the Allen Iversons. I got the Shaq. Yo, the I pumps. don't, like, yo, I don't have oh. no Re Adidas. 
to keep it real, once Yeezy left, all my Adidas that I have in my collection are Yeezys. Yeah, 700s. That's what I, I don't fuck with no other Yeezy but the 700s. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I don't buy them no more anyway, but I have every colorway that came out. So my whole shit is Nike and New Balance, and New Balance is, is, is making making their mark in my closet, bro. They're taking up more and more space yeah, right. every right. day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I fuck with New Balance heavy. Uh, shout to my 11. peoples up there, man. You the Griggs brothers, uh, Frank the nah, Butcher, uh, my <laughs> boy Cheo. Right. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to them. 574s. Nah, you got the, the New Balance. Nah, I caught some ill. Uh, Gore-Tex New Balances, five, five eighties. Yeah. No sneakers. Sneakers. Gore-Tex. I was like, I never seen this. I'm buying this. Or they have the boots like that. Yeah, they yeah. got the sneaker like that. They had them in green, like. I don't know what kind of green like that. I bench get my green. shits on eBay, man. Fuck all of that. <laughs> he buy all his nice. shit on eBay. Lucky they got the verification now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but we big sneakerheads on this. Anyway. <laughs> we big sneakerheads on this fucking podcast. Fact. Let's get into the motherfucking scumbag of the week. Scumbag. Let me go first this time. All right, go ahead. Do you? Scumbag of the week is fucking FIFA, bro. You broke, oh. you broke my heart. Uh, don't bro. even look at him. His name, his name is the artist formerly known as FIFA. The artist. Can't even look at him. Yeah. We don't even. His, he's the audio guy. Yeah, the audio guy Damn. broke my heart. That's right. it. I was gonna That's make him the scumbag of the week, me, because the story is from me. You know, you can't even tell the story because you don't know. I can say it too. He broke my heart. I bet. <laughs> it could be for both of us. All right, so Nems, tell the story. Guys, yeah, say the story. I hate break your heart, son. You would have had another heart attack. We would have had a <laughs> Oh, Dito. I would have had two. I have two scumbags, but he took one. Uh, it's the audio guy. Um, Damn, he doesn't say his name. And nah, because yo, this, the, the, the season one and two, everything's coming out. Not my, actually, no. Season one and two. We had a budget. We was with Revolt. Right now, we're in between, um, you know, contracts. Correct. So there's 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 prospects going on with who's gonna give us the budget and who yeah, we're, we're negotiating right now. But I told y'all specifically, I'm not taking. We're not taking no more breaks. You know what I'm saying? We're making this fucking podcast, no matter what. So everything right now is coming out my pockets. That's why we're dropping every other week instead of. Every week when we have a, a deal budget, in yeah. place, we're dropping every week. But when it's coming out of my pocket, we dropping every other week. You know what I'm saying? And then there's Patreon in between that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why the Patreon also is important because that's helping with the production. You know, I'm not begging. I'm not in need. Yes, I can afford it. But also, it's costly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So also, patreon.com slash Gorilla Nims. Um, it's $5 a month, bro. $5, come on. Word, you spend $5 on bullshit. Yeah. On scratch-offs. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. One scratch-off is $5. Nah, I fuck with scratch-offs. One nip. So you can't even get a pack of backwards for um, $5. Last week, I wanted to bang out some episodes because uh, we were leaving on tour. And I don't know the situation when we leave. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, so we was doing extra content for Patreon, but then live action came. And it winded up being such a good episode that I was like, Fuck this. this. We're gonna make this a fucking episode. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I sent Ray and FIFA and, and the audio guy the money, and they was like, yo, you gotta pay us for two episodes. And I just was like, yo, homie, the two, we did it before in one day, and I was like, yo, the two episodes, we had the budget last time, so it wasn't nothing. I, I wanted, I set the president where I fucked up that I paid them for two episodes when we shot for one day because. The budget was there for that. The money was there. Ray, I have no problem paying. Ray puts in like 30, 40 hours of work, bro. Facts. Like, like he deserves every. So I just told Ray, like, yo, I'm gonna send you 400 extra. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you some bread extra. And um, but I can't really. I'm not. It was one day's work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. But uh, Ray was like, yo, the audio guy said, yo, he ain't coming back. You know what I'm saying? We need audio. We had Ray come one time and do audio. Terrible. Bad. We couldn't even use the episode. You know what I'm saying? So we need the audio. So I was like, fuck it. I sent it to him, whatever. And I just was like, yo, we just gonna keep it business. Ain't no bad will. Ain't no, you know, hard feelings. It's just, if if, if y'all don't care about, you know, we got this motherfucking Christmas presents, bro. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? We, we we, la if I laugh at you and joke, I don't laugh and joke with people I don't like. If facts. I laugh and joke with you, you my peoples. I, I have consideration for you, but if, if it ain't, I, we just keep it business then. No problem. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? So now it's just the audio guy. You ain't gonna hear him say clap it up, nothing like none, that. None of that. No bad feelings. It's just business. Simple as that. We are gonna keep it business. I don't. I don't play around with people that I'm just doing business with. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And simple as that. But busy. 
second. S- super scumbag of the week. <laughs> yeah, he was my scumbag last Again, week. Again, damn, he's so doubling busy up. So busy missed. We had the anniversary. One year anniversary. One year anniversary. Of the store. Busy wasn't there. Facts. We had my sh- my show last night in Brooklyn. Shit was lit. Facts. Everybody was there. It's close to his crib. It's, it was close to his, yes. He lives on my block and I, it was 12 minutes he wasn't away from there. me, so. He wasn't there. And I still was going to let that slide because last night was his daughter's birthday. Shouts to oh. my niece, Harp. I love you. Happy birthday, you know, Happy Harp. birthday. Happy birthday. Beautiful, beautiful daughter. It's beautiful. Yeah, she's right. cool as so cool as You're going to be a F. rock star. Why? Cool as yeah. ice. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we're here today and Busy's not fucking here. So you don't do the tour, you're not on the tour, you're not, you know, what the fuck are you doing, bro, you fucking scumbag. And he won't. Even though I'm not going to front, yesterday the only thing he did put in, because Vegas, he's on tour, everything is starting brand new on this tour. We're learning as we go. So the DJ, DJ Smooth, he's learning how I want the set to be as we do shows. Vegas is learning how I want shit shot. So yesterday I told Busy, yo, Busy, tell Vegas exactly to a T how we need these recaps shot because we need to make the shit look how it is lit we nice. gotta make people want to buy tickets and come so vegas he fucked up um a couple takes sent me shit and it wasn't that you know good and i was just like yo busy tell this motherfucker to a t explain it how we want everything shot and he did that so i give him that credit but he's still a scumbag bro yeah. if you're a manager to an artist you're to be at their shows you're to be on time he shows up later than us sometimes and leaves early yes your management can't your manager can't have a bigger ego than you and busy has a bigger ego than you yeah, than yeah. me he gets his job done he's not here though and that's you know being there is half the job they say yeah so half his job ain't done oh, you good guys all good you ain't got, got the run. baby wrapped up <laughs> that's how i want to be right now Hey yo. Hey yo. Wow. Like a little up. pig in a blanket, like an hey, uncircumcised like dick. Snow, though, right? Pig in a blanket? No, I'm vegan, so a nice. A dick uh, in a blanket? <laughs> an uncircumcised penis? A dick in a blanket. With the hood dick up. In the with the hood up. Ew. It's cold. My scumbag of the week. So you guys saw me whip out the new truck, right? Ooh. So hold up though. So Uh-oh. last it was last Saturday that I got it. This past Saturday, I'm driving on the highway moving with traffic. The car in front of me stops, oh. so I stop. I got fucking rear-ended. Oh. This guy, I, ha- I didn't even have this whip for a week. This guy behind me decides to cut off another guy that's behind him, so the guy crashes into him, and he had no choice, and then crashed into me. Wow, did it fuck, uh, did a lot of damage? So, no, it didn't do a lot of damage, because you know on the Wrangler I have the big, new. it doesn't matter, yeah, it's hit, it doesn't matter, I have to go through insurance now because there and is that goes a Nick. The Carfax. I, that's what I'm saying. That's that's the worst shit. I had it for six days. Scumbag. Learn how to drive. It was an Uber driver, a taxi. It was a uh, TL. Oh, they're out of control. T- Yo, listen, Uber drivers are out Whatever. of control, bro. Listen, shouts to the Uber driver. There's some of them that I know. Yeah. But listen, as a whole, yeah. as a whole, mm-hmm. cab drivers and Uber drivers are ruining this city. Yeah. The, the, it's the traffic they cause is unbelievable. And the bikes. They always drive five miles below. I can't stand being in the third lane. Every other state you go to, you pull up on the third lane trying to move fast, they move out the way. Yeah, These exactly. Uber drivers will stay in the third lane going five miles below the speed Looking limit. Looking at you through the rear view. Bro, I, <laughs> yo, I can't stand this. There's certain good ones, but there's, there's yo, as a whole, yeah, you know, and if whole. you're an Uber driver, you just gotta fall into the, the hole, um, pause. Uh, hey, yo. So but yo, out. these Uber drivers are fucking ridiculous, bro. Get them the fuck out of here. Yeah. Word. Scum, but yo, six days. And I and I could have and I could have went into the the ambulance and I could have been like, ah, oh, my back. But I'm just not like that. I believe in karma. If I'm not injured, I'm not gonna go ahead and yeah, sue. Nice. But I could have done you know the most, and I'm not gonna do that because I'm not a scum my neck, bag. my back, my, my neck, neck and my, my back. back. <laughs> Give me twenty dollars. I clean all that shit up. Here. But now we're gonna go to JJM Auto, and and we're gonna clean up that car. Facts. That? Yeah, yo. JJM I, Auto. We're gonna, yeah. get, we're gonna get right back. So we're gonna do a whole motherfucking commercial for that bitch. No. Of yo, who's your scumbag of the week? Me. Me. Damn, Damn. my boy. I'm coming from my lunch break, and I'm talking to my coworker, but I'm gonna make a left. 
and I didn't look to the right, and homeboy was making a left, and I smacked my bumper into his tire, and that shit just put a big ass hole in my bumper. Damn, Damn we both fucked up out here. But the only good shit, nothing happened to his shit, so I was like, waved him off, and he was like, yeah, get out of here. I was like, bet. <laughs> it was the old man? Yeah. That's he was wild. like telling me to wait. He was going to drive over there. And I was like, and he was like, ah, hey, get out of here. I was like, thanks, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> and I jetted. Crying in the car. Well, nah, I was like, nah, your I ain't bumper, want the mother. Your bumper got fucked up, though, right? Yeah, I bought a new one, though. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah fuck it. $93. Yeah, it beats sure all that other shit. Up. Yeah, that's mad funny. What movie have you seen lately? Oh! I ain't seen none. Yo, yo. <laughs> Why'd you scream like that? Because I was gonna watch them the other day. And yo, I was facts. Gonna... Yo, the movies, I've been trying to catch up on movies, but we fucking in the Sprinter van that we got the T-Mobile Wi-Fi thing. Horrible. That shit is, you can't stream nothing. Yo, we, the football game was on on the way to Philly. The, um, the, the Ravens and, um, Whoever they beat, the Texans. Yeah, Bro, yeah, yeah. He's luckily I got, you know, I got Fios cable, whatever, so I got the app, so I was watching it, we was watching it lovely, but we put it on the TV. Bro, if that's all we had, I would have been miserable. <laughs> Bro, it wasn't even streaming. It was like, they were, all right, fourth, third and one, fourth and one, they're about to stop. <laughs> Come yeah. back 10 minutes Buffering. later. They scored. Yeah, the score's already there. The I'm like, score's changed scored? twice. Nah, like, damn. Luckily, his cousin Melo had a tablet, so we like, yo, right Yeah, he had man. the tablet like he's still in jail. Yeah. Facts. Uh. And he bought JBL headphones yeah. for that. Just to be dolo, little scumbag. And, and little fucking, and, and we got seats that go up only this much. It could go up like that, but he's leaned back. Y'all really need a new sprinter. That's yeah, crazy that's, to me. And we, <laughs> and we, I'm big, I'm 6'3". Yo, bro. anybody watching this man that got the Sprinter Connect that wanna... Word. Yeah, word. Send the we'll Sprinter promote, Yo, we'll promote you for the rest of the year. Please, 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 please help me, please. Hat. Let me tell you something. Help me, please. Don't be that shit proud. Got Don't be proud. Bro, that shit got heat in the front. That's and, it. And Mex and don't wanna put fat. it on, he's big. Yo, That's but hold crazy. up, hold up. I got to shout motherfucking Mex out. Facts. That's my, uh -uh. my manager, his name is Mex. He was whipping and dipping. Yo, first of all, besides driving the whole tour, like he literally, nobody else touched that steering wheel yet. Yeah. Even though we're going to have to, because there's certain spots, look like ivory, right? Yeah, wow. facts. Yo, so there's, uh, there's, there's um certain, <laughs> <laughs> there's certain <laughs> shit that like <laughs> 12 hours, 20 hours that we're going to have to be driving. Somebody else is gonna have to take the wheel, but Max been driving the whole time. So not only does he drive, he set that whole tour up. He's been on the phone with every venue, with every promoter. With he set that tour up by himself. Yes, I'm with Goliath. Yes, I'm with Virgin. Shouts to them, but they don't really have nothing to do with this tour. They, it's 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 all Max. Wow. Literally, it's all and Max. He's dealing with all of our personalities and your man. Yo, yo. And he's doing that too. I fuck with and that. And he makes sure the venue pays on time. And then, yo, Max, like, yo. Clap it up for Max. Clap it up for Max. Up for Standing Max. ovation for Max. Yeah, that's a, that's a fact. Yeah. Let's Max, stand up. Let's Standing it. ovation for that. Clap yo, up. Max, oh, that's that real cool. Oh, that's that was good. Good. That was good. That was good. Good call. Cool. Cool. Uh, good call. Cool. Standing up. I felt like he was in the bullpens just now. Right. Yo, I feel like the look. Tin Man in these. How long we on? How long we on right now? What we got, right? Yeah. All right, good. All right, good. So look, this is what we're going to do. My boy, Six the Dawn, he just opened up a fucking auto spa. Like, yo, I love the people around me when the people around me are winning. Facts. I want everybody around me to win. This guy, Six, I seen it with my own eyes with my store. He puts his mind to something, he executes. But where I would be like, eh, that'll do. Six does it to a T, yeah, per to perfection. To I open. haven't been there yet, because it's in fucking Ozone Park. That shit is a mission. Queens is mad confusing. Plus, yeah. we've been on tour, and plus, a lot of things been happening since it opened. It just, it just opened. But I'm 100% sure that if you take your, your car or truck or limp, whatever, whatever you want to JJM Auto Spa in Ozone Park, Queens, you will be 100% satisfied because that's the way my man Six does business, does everything he does 
is professional and to the T. Yes, kiss. Right. So, even if you live in another borough, take your shit to JJM Auto Spa because you won't need another car wash for a couple months. Yeah. It should be insanely clean Fact. from the inside out. Like a fresh douche for your car. <laughs> uh -huh. Fresh douche bag. <laughs> <laughs> and yo, with these, yo, what I'm doing is with these cards. So right now I'm about to stash this card over here somewhere by the wall. I got another one. I did a four pack for New York City. You know what I'm saying? But every state that I've been going to, I sign a, you know, I, you know, I had the top, the tops Allen and Ginter card that came out this year. They just sent me perfect timing right before the tour started. They sent me a box of just my cards. So there's probably like a hundred of them in there. Every state that we go to, like we don't have a show in Connecticut, but we stopped at a rest stop. I stashed one there. We we uh we didn't have a show in New Hampshire, but we stopped at a rest stop. I put one there. So every state that we drive through or have a show in. I'm taking one of my cards, I'm autographing it, but I'm putting the state that we are in at the time. So we're going to be giving them, there's going to be Cali. We're, we're all over the country with this disrespect right. tour, mm -hmm. and this shit is dope. So to find out where I'm stashing them, I would say the best place to look is on my stories. Watch my stories on NEMS underscore FYL daily. But I'm also posting it as an actual post on the FYL brand page. And uh, and happy hunting, man. I hope you get yours, man. Yeah. These shits are official tops cards, man. It's a dream come true. So me right. letting them go is just some dope shit. Once in a lifetime thing. And uh, people been snatching them shits up quick. Yeah. Everywhere right. we went, they it's snatched five them Five minutes, tops. Yeah, we left yeah. them at the Rocky, the Rocky I statue. left one at the Rocky statue. It was, by the time we went to Sin City, the, the strip club that we were booked for, I looked at my Instagram story and someone had already gotten it. Facts. Yesterday, I left the one by the Cyclone. By the time I got to the fucking Belt Parkway, I seen an Instagram story that it was taken. Left one at my store, it was taken that night. I left one in fucking Vermont. I saw a post, yo, I got it. I left one in Fenway Park, somebody commented, yo, I got it. Connecticut, somebody sent me a picture of them having it. So these, it's not like these shits are just getting left there. People know people from that area, they see it, they go get this shit, bro. This and one guy recognized you instead of... Oh, yeah, in New Hampshire, we stopped at Walmart to get some shit. And the guy, as soon as we walked in Walmart, I heard, fuck your life, in the middle of New Hampshire. I don't know where the <laughs> fuck we are. That's yeah. West Bubba and, fuck. and it's weird over there, to me. Yes. You know? <laughs> and so he came up, yo, can I get a picture? Yeah, I said, white. yo, matter of fact, here, here's your picture, but I'm going to do one better for you. Here's a fucking card with the New Hampshire signal. Whoa, those are the boneless Tims. Those shits is horrible. <laughs> Yo, like holy two boats. shit. Yeah, those they were worse than the like yeah, those Bowl ones. bowling shoes. You ain't just cop those. So, yeah, we're going to be in a city near you. Uh, what episode is this? 30? 31. 31? Always behind. Like we did two in one day. Yeah, we did two the other day, yep. And as always, Cash behind the scenes, we just had a whole big conversation. I don't know why I did this. Hey, yo. Hey, uh, yo. Just had a big conversation. <laughs> we just had a Fucking big conversation jerk. with New York Nico. Shout out Nico, man. That's uh, it's going to be on the Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Gorilla Nems. It's $5, bro. We're here on Graham and Frost that Anthony and Sons Panini shop. Right. They got the best sandwiches. They always take care of us. The hospitality is second to none. And, uh... They even taking care of the vegan. They got something for me too, right. so that's facts. Nice. They gave us some tea. They making sure we we we've got money. Yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. And uh, we taking this motherfucking show on the road, man. Facts. Fuck your motherfucking life. Fuck your Hi, life. Underscore FYL. Tap in, man. Facts. CB Life underscore FYL. Live action. Underscore FYL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, it. Come back. Don't ever disrespect. Me. Ever, 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 